How's it going ladies and bruises, I'm Bobby Sixkiller, welcome back to the Shapeshifting Detective. Now, in the last one we discovered that literally everybody's having an affair, and that uh, Violet's been abducted by aliens, and we're currently Zack, I can't actually remember if we finished talking to everyone with Zack and we need to change, or whether we need to talk to everybody, but I'm assuming we need to change. Nobody seems to be around, so let's, uh, let's get to our room, let's move on to whoever's after Zack. I actually don't know who's after that. I assume it's her. Hi, I'm Alice. Alice. I'm Alice. Alice Monroe. Yeah, I think that's right. And we're gonna go have a chat to everybody, as per usual. We're gonna hail a cab to begin with. We're gonna go see the chief. Nobody there. Cool beans. Oh no. Okay, nothing to talk to Zach about, that's good. Nothing to talk to Mr. Poe about. Mr. Poe Poe. Well, this uh, chapter seems to be well and truly over, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure I hadn't done all of these people yet. It's been a while since I recorded, unfortunately. As, as, as it tends to get. As tends to happen. Oh, we can be par. I don't think we've ever been par. Oh, not hail a cab. Fuck, sorry. I don't think we've ever transformed into par, have we? I'm Poe, and this is your August update. August update. That was super creepy. You like fully lost the voice there and went all demonic and shit. I'm sorry, can I help you? I've just moved in next door. It's not a very good time at the moment, I'm afraid. Really? Uh, anything I can help with? No, not really. Don't look at me like that. Alright, well at least we had someone to talk to with Poe there. I guess we'll do able to talk to Alice, get some new info like that. And their co-workers co and also lovers, apparently. That's right, we worked out that it seems like Alice is a bad person, so even though everyone seems to love her, she's like... Mr. Poe is cheating on his wife and stuff with her, and John, she's also trying to steal something from him. I'm gonna be fine. Trying to How steal long a, have we been together now? A gem or something from him? On the radio? I started at Radio August about two years ago. Why? No, I mean romantically. You kissed me on the first day. Don't you remember? I was putting on my makeup and you came up behind me. I saw how you were watching me in the mirror. It made me feel alive. Why didn't you tell me about Dorota? What didn't I tell you about Dorota? That you were sleeping with her. It was just a fling, John. I wanted to try something different. To stretch myself. You. <laughs> I would have told you eventually. All three of us could have had fun together. You do want to have fun with me, don't you, John? No. Go away. You horrible woman. Get away from me. John seems like a dick as well, actually. But anyway, I think that's it. I think that's, uh... I think that's everybody. How do I move on to the next chapter? Do I have to be Sam again? I assume I have to be Sam again. Let's turn back to Sam. Well, it looks like we've talked to everyone about everything. It's hard when you, like, stop part way through a thing and then don't come back for like a week. It makes it difficult. It's now 10 o'clock. Here's your August update. Investigations deepen into last night's murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw, a talented cellist who had recently been granted a place at Juilliard, 
was found strangled at her home last night. With the murderer still at large, Chief DuPont has urged residents to remain calm and stresses there is almost no chance of anyone else being harmed. Alice. Ah. Let me know you're okay. Come on. In other news, a handful of August residents have reported seeing strange lights in the sky earlier this evening. The lights, which witnesses describe as searingly bright, were spotted over the east edge of town, past the fire station. Have you seen any strange lights? Or for that matter, little green men? Let me know. I've heard about That's them. 10 o'clock with Poe. I love those backgrounds with the bubbles of paint and stuff. It looks really cool. Really cool. Next chapter. <sighs> August's gone crazy tonight. I've just got off the phone with someone who thinks they saw a UFO on one of the nights that Violet went missing. It yeah, that makes sense. More right now. Anyway, now you're here, it's time. What do you suggest we do with Ellis Monroe? Kick your ass. Um. I'll protect her at her house, I guess. Monroe's a local treasure around here, Sam. Don't let anything happen to her. Sam, I'm not sure. Do you think you can stop someone from trying to kill me? I'll do my best. <sighs> That's all I needed to hear. Thanks for staying with me, Sam. I know it's dangerous. I don't know why you're here, but I'm glad you are. It's almost 10 o'clock, Sam. When's it going to be over? You said Brahman will call when it's safe. Should, should we call them now? Or are we just supposed to wait? You're going to be okay. I know you're just being good, but <laughs> that's kind of easy for you to say right now. I think I'm probably going to have a heart attack before anyone gets a chance to kill me. <sighs> just wait. That's the door. That's the door, Sam. What what are, what are we going to do? You're safe to stand behind me. Here we go. What's it gonna be? Ellis, thank God. I've been outside all the time, okay? Bronwyn Castle just called. She said the danger is over. They've done a new reading. There's another victim now. Look, Danny's outside. He's gonna take you somewhere safe, okay? Sam? I think you should find out who the next victim's gonna be. Then come and see me in my office. It's 11 o'clock. I'm Poe, and this is your August update. Police investigating the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw say they are getting closer to apprehending the killer. Are we? The death of Miss Shaw, who was found strangled at her home late last night, has sparked a massive police operation and caused alarm amongst August residents. Monroe has some personal business to attend to but she sends you all her love and hopes to be back on the air tomorrow. And Monroe, if you can hear me, I'm sending my love out to you too. That's 11 o'clock with Poe. Next chapter. Sam, I have some bad news. We've done a group reading and it's you. I'm the next target. I don't know, Sam. I, I don't know what to say. It's normally a death sentence, but with you, it might be different. Why me? I think you've interfered too much. That's why you're the next target. I've called Chief Dupont already. He's asked that you meet with him. You should go, Sam. Be careful. Okay. Sam, it's almost midnight. You're still alive. This is a good thing, but no one's even attempted to kill you yet. You've given me a lot of evidence. 
enough to arrest someone. But who? Make the right decision, and you should be safe. If we don't, well, we've all got to sleep at some point. I can get someone to guard your room at the guest house, but it might not be enough. So, Sam, who should I arrest? Oh, no, no, no. No, I don't have enough information. I'll take the hint. <sighs> During that whole thing with Alice, the only people I couldn't keep track of were Rain, Zack, and... and Violet. I don't want to believe it's Violet, but that's why you're here. You're impartial. Out of those three names, who was with Dorota at the time of her murder? Or who has an alibi that doesn't check out? This is on you, Sam. Just... give me a name. Violet's the only one who has an alibi that doesn't check out because she was abducted by aliens. Oh no. Zach had an alibi. I'm pretty sure Rain had an alibi. Although Rain's dodgy is. Oh no. I'm gonna pick Violet. I'm gonna regret this. Fine, are you sure? Fine, okay, I trust you, Sam. I just hope you know what you're doing. I'll get the paperwork drawn up, we'll get Violet in. See if we can't get a confession to something. I can't believe we're at the end already, I didn't... I really don't feel like I have enough information for this. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Rain's gonna kill me. I feel like it's Rain. I said Violet because there's a, she's the only one who didn't have an alibi that didn't check out. I'm sorry, sorry. That was in bad taste. <laughs> um, Bronwyn asked me to check that you're okay, and you seem to be. Well done, catching a killer, by the way. Don't kill me. Well, hopefully you did. Don't kill me. <laughs> Scream if you need me. Ah, go away. It's Pretty one o'clock in the morning, and this is Poe with your August update. That's scary. We don't normally have them at this time, but since there's a killer on the loose, I feel it's my duty to keep the radio station manned. I personally spoke with Chief Dupont earlier, and he thinks they're close to catching the killer. Until that happens, though, please lock your doors and stay inside. Remain vigilant. The light has faded, and so has my fortitude. I see things in shadows, behind doors and under desks. I hear the chattering of teeth and the glee of insects waiting to feed on me. The studio undulates like a heart that beats its last beats. I can't go on. I must to bed. Forgive me, Lady August. Forgive me. Take it easy, drama queen. Jesus. Sam. Now it's rain again. Cool. You're still with us. <laughs> I have to give you a pretty high dose of Rehypnol to drag you in here. I could have killed you in your room, of course, but... That would have looked pretty suspicious. I knew it was you. I fucking knew it! Yes, I'm rain, but I can't remember. I don't remember. I'm being possessed, but I can't get caught. If they don't care, Sam, they don't care what happens to the vessel. Some sick traveler is using me as a killing machine, and then they'll just dump me. But you, you're gonna get me stuck in prison. I can't have that. I can't let you do that. Um. Um. Change into rain. Sam, um, rain? You changed into me. Interesting. Either you were a shapeshifter and you've been playing us all, all along, or you were the traveler. Using Sam as a vessel right now. Using some freaky trans-dimensional powers. And I think it's the latter. Goodbye.
Hassan. Thank you for observing that minute's silence. August has lost many good people in the last few days. Dorota Shaw, Violet Gallagher, and our very own Alice Munro. In a police statement released this morning, Chief DuPont has asked people to seek safety in company and remain vigilant. The most recent body found with multiple stab wounds is still being examined by August's coroner. They are unable to confirm the identity or even species of the victim at this time. The hell? The killer remains at large. Motherfucker, we lost! I knew it was rain too, I fucking knew it! I am Dorota. I am 21 years old. Um, I love playing cello and I just been awarded a scholarship to Juilliard. Oh, I just love cello. I love all string instruments, but cello is rich and deep and uh, soothing, at least to me. Uh, no, cello is my hobby, but my real passion is... <laughs> it's silly, it sounds silly. Well, I would like to build a time machine. <laughs> I know, I know. But it is possible. I think people make mistakes, they do things they regret, and they say things they don't mean. I want to go back in time. I want to make better choices. Okay. Does that mean we can do that? What if we resume? What's that gonna do? Oh no. Sam, um, rain? changed into me. Okay, well, I guess we fucked it up, screwed the pooch on that one, um, I'm gonna leave this episode here, seeing we lost and everything. I knew it was rain too, I fucking knew it, but resuming does not bring you back to that choice, so there's nothing I can do. So that's, that's, that's pretty much it. As unsatisfying as it may be, without restarting from scratch, and apparently the killer is different every time, so, uh, restarting from scratch would mean a whole new playthrough. I don't think we're gonna do that. I'll probably do that in my own time. This is just a snippet, and you probably get get in there and buy the game and get some better endings than I got, which wouldn't take much. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking it out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.